I think it's really amazing how every single year um, we get completely different artworks. You never know what you're going to get. It's and uh, this year we've had so many portrait artwork, haven't we? Yeah. And it, it's just always a complete surprise, isn't it? It's just such a wonderful exhibition. You just blow away by all the talent each year, but particularly this year just seems amazing. And the current climate with everything just feeling quite negative and you know quite serious at the moment. I just think this is just a brilliant space that people could come to and feel positive about life. Yeah. You've arrived at Black Swan Arts in Froome. Um, and if you're watching this, you will have probably have been a an entrant in a Black Swan Arts Young Open. Uh, which has been going for a number of years. So we're going to go up the stairs into the gallery. And you can see that this year we've had, oh, just amazing number of entries. Um, I, I have to say particularly in the 12 for 15 category. And these are all the pictures that are up on the stairs. The blue haired lady, oh, by the way, I'm Amanda Sheridan and I was one of the judges and also helped to hang the exhibition that has been curated by Mel Day. Uh, so she's the lady who chose where everything needs to go and Morag, Stuart and Sally Barnett and myself hung the pictures with the help of Roger. <laughs> so what we hope in this tour is that you will find your picture. You won't be able to come and see it for many, a few weeks, we think. But at least we've got it. So that you can look at it. And you can... When we get into the gallery proper, I will talk about some of the things that I think are interesting about the art that you do um, and also what it is that when we're looking at pictures and galleries that we look out for. You'll also notice that the floor's very creaky because we're a very old building. Okay, I'm going to now give a tour of the gallery because you can't come and do it yourself. Uh, and I'm going to show, talk first of all about three of the, or two of these walls, which are 
with all the portraits. And we were um, overwhelmed by a the number of portraits, but the quality of portraits, more importantly. It's a, it's a very difficult part of the um, artistic discipline, and it's been represented here by every age group. Brilliant. And this lovely picture here, um, called Toto of Africa, is it's in black and white, but it's managed to get so many different tones. And this was done by um, somebody who is between the 8 to 11 category. So the, the different colours and the greys and the blacks, and also this sort of slightly enigmatic, you're not quite sure if this person is smiling or if they're actually not it's a, it, or, or if they're smiling but it's not a good smile it's, it's maybe you know a bit sinister and i think I mean, that's fantastic this this lovely picture with the fist pushing into the face the side of the face and then let the eyes are the sort of i don't care what am i doing so all of these and these are black and white there's no color in these and they're all giving this wonderful amount of character and it's the titles as well so this is all deep in thought. So as soon as you look, you call, of course she's deep in thought. It's a wonderful title. And this is feminine. This very exotic picture, sort of quite bony, but, but she is very, very feminine and beautiful. And this is a self-portrait. And you feel that, that must be so like her. The hair is so lovingly um, flowing and, and constructed with the pencil. Oh, it's lovely. These, unlike the previous big portraits, these are all in colour and they all have names. Um, and I think that there is something about a black and white that means it can be a, a bit different, a bit enigmatic, as I say, which is some enigmatic means a little bit thought provoking, a bit sort of different. Um, but again, this picture here of Isaac, which you would expect to be, is so startling. Um, but what the um, artist has done is she's made the top right all sort of a bit misty and a bit sort of scrubbed it up. So it, it adds to an awful lot and that's what you need to look for in pictures. That's why pictures are so interesting. There's often something surprising and different. And this lovely boy, you know that the portrait is, it probably relates in some way to this boy because it's so tender and it's so caring. And this, I think this is a picture of the girl, the artist, as a young person. And I think again, that's so lovely and full of feeling and depth. Uh, this top artist has also entered another very different portrait and that's what's a joy about here is that we've got a number of people who've entered two, two pieces, some of them very similar, some of them really different um, and that's what the Young Open is about, it's about the diversity of, of the different groups and again that wonderful age group of the 12 to 15s, these, the tones and the expressions in these, similar in many ways, but oh, they're, they're so different. If you look at the mouths, um, each person and the noses are so, um, that, that's different again, but, but that's what makes portraiture fascinating. You think you're just looking at a face, but the closer and closer you look, the more information you gather about what it is that you're looking at. I, lo I, I like this juxtaposition of the eyes underneath this picture, and then again going across, and if you look, all the eyes are, uh, are sort of staring at you, particularly the one in the middle. And this one in the middle is, is she's left this hand unpainted, and it almost looks bandaged. And I don't know if that was deliberate, but the, but I like the unfinishedness because there's huge detail. She's put doilies and ribbons and bits of, um, I think the motif the. the Technique is probably sort of glue and glitter. It, so it's a huge detail up in the hair. And then this knot detail. Again, you have to look at it. Uh, and it, it's great. This is Dad and this is Dad. This picture here, very, very different from the um, painting on the black and white wall. Maybe even the same subject, but the technique is completely different. And I think that, again, is, it's, it's lovely. And this, so striking, the picture at the top with the blue hair. And the uh, beautiful, the, each feature, the nose is lovely uh, in that, with that sort of slightly shiny at the end, sewing a lot of 
of mastery of art. Um, and then these two going together, which are this lovely title, Social Butterfly Leading to Despair. I think titles are very important. But she's different technique, um, different pictures. This tour is um, a, a tour of a work that is um, still life, architecture, um, uh, it's sort of some of them are cartoony, um, and there's a, there's a vibrancy of colour, there's, and there's also some monochrome, but we're starting with the colour wall. Um, and the artist here did the screwdrivers, and then they matched it with this beautiful box of lovely old bits and bobs that one of the um, people, volunteers who was helping us, thought it was a real toolbox, and they were very kind, and they cleared it away, tied it up, <laughs> so we had to reconstruct it. Anyway, it's beautiful. Um, this picture here is lots of mixed media, so it's got bits of string and leaves and grasses, and then up at the top, that, those lovely little tanks. So I, I think what we're trying to do with this tour is show you the pictures that are in the exhibition because you won't be able to come, but also to encourage you to do art. You've now got so much time and there's so much material that you can use. We've got this winner, there's string and there's paper straws and there's corrugated paper and there's tin foil um, and the screwed up bits of paper that have been painted over very, very thick with oils. Uh, um, this is photography. You can all do, go and photograph things in the gardens. So it's, it's showing you the pictures and giving you a tour. And that one is remarkable, that's why it was a winner. Um, and here again, fantastic, just pick, a lot of people have used felt pen, but have created some really lovely. This is pencil and paint. Um, this is acrylic paint, very good copy there of the, of the Wicked um, picture. This girl here uh, was one of the artists here, uh, over there, the one with the girl who was all a bit grumpy. This is my favourite picture on this wall because of what we're going through at the moment and why I'm standing talking to you, which is a picture of an Italian street scene. And there looks like there's a lady there who's probably singing some opera. And there's a very nice man probably coming in and being helpful, maybe the postman and the cat. So that's a lovely picture. Very special for the moment, I think. Um, Billy Eilish, a celebration. And this is called Obsession. So go back to why titles are very important and they give you an insight into what the artist was thinking and the fact that this picture is just full of different techniques and different images of Billie Eilish. And, but some of them are the same, but she's done lino cuts, she's done painting with glitter, newspaper cl clippings, um, splashes of black paint. It's really fantastic, but it, the fact it is so sort of busy and dizzy, and dizzy, it does mean that it's sort of very obsessive. This is again the still lives and the, the animal section of photography, and also we've got a lot of lino prints, beautiful techniques on this wall, but, um, but it's the monochrome, which is just so clever to be able to uh, show texture, to show distance, to show perspective, design, using just one technique. So just, just remarkable, just in pencil. Um, these, you can see the glass shining uh, in the, in the um, hourglass, and the egg, the whiteness of the inside of the egg, it's, uh, it's a, just lovely and, and, and inspiring. Um, this is printmaking. That is to, to have that sort of mastery of a printmaking technique. And it's also a montage, so he's, he's combined two different processes and, and, and created something called Swan Song. And you don't initially see the swan, but the swan then comes out. And once you've seen it, you can see that beady eye looking at you. Again, going back to the, the, the more you, the closer you get sometimes to a picture, and the more you look at it, there's more that you see. Uh, and this extraordinary 
picture of a hare is, I don't think I talked about it properly before, it's like a sort of, it's like a crazy, amazingly accomplished doodle that's just, just gone to town. Uh, it's, it's with a pen and ink, fine linear drawing. It is exquisite. We've got one of our own artists, a girl who set this up, Sally Barnett, and she said that is really accomplished. It's really good. So we're thrilled with that. Um, and then this um, process called calligraph, which is laying different sorts of materials on top and then creating that picture. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, what I'm hoping is that you are encouraged by looking at all of these different techniques, different styles, different subject matter, different sizes, um, all ages have just created just a fantastic exhibition. And although you can't physically come here, you're able to visit it now again and again, which is perhaps even better. And maybe in a few weeks ahead, you'll be inspired and you will start to do your own work. That will be wonderful. And then next year you can enter, because we're certainly going to have it next year, that's for sure. So we're at the top floor of the round tower, and just I'm going to look at probably three or four pictures in here. Um, starting with this really vibrant, really fantastic um, portrayal, I think it's of Muhammad Ali, but also it's really sad because he's got these drips of paint and drips from his eyes. And I think that's again going back to why pictures are important because they can make you feel different emotions, um, happiness or sadness or. Um, uh, but if you think about things differently, uh, there's one here that's sort of a bit about the planet and it's got roses and butterflies and it's lovely about the planet and that's again it's a sort of political message but made happy. But this picture is the one that I wanted to pick out because I think it's probably from memory and it's really lovely, it's got fantastic amounts of different blues and so you can imagine that this bit here is maybe more shallow than the other bits but and the bits at the top with the sort of slightly cresting waves and the colours of the grass and I think it's a really I think that's it's a lovely lovely picture and, and was from the 811 group. Um, uh, another lovely extraordinary picture is this one and the, again if you look at it from one side is that man a nice man on the right or is he a bit sinister is the man on this left side, very strange, very old. Is he, do we feel sorry for him or is he a monster? And it, it's, it, if you look at it closely, there's so much to think about. A really clever black background with different angles and the hand reaching out. Uh, the shoulders all different sizes. So this is a, I mean, it's a really excellent piece of work. Um, very vivid and creative and can only have come from somebody's imagination. Um, which is that wonderful. Again, in here we've got a lovely peacock. With the, the use of colour in that picture is what is important, as much as what the picture is about. Uh, so this room is vibrant and full of excitement, and full of multifaceted different 
um, subject matter. Uh, so yeah, works in this gallery particularly well. And then we're going to go downstairs. Um, this is was a very close contender. It's photography. Um, I think it, it's it's just so beautifully structured in the form of the the reels of paper, um, and you can see the surface that it's on. You don't know what it is, but you can see lots of detail and the shadows and the light coming through. It's a really beautifully piece of photographic art, um, and uh, that's this twelve to fifteen year old group, which is very popular group. And we were talking about titles of um, pictures and pieces of art. This is a really, really well thought out, really brilliantly worked on piece called Biz Gig Hand Puppet and Habitat, which is just what it is, but it's a lovely title. It's their habitat. It's not where they live, it's their habitat. So it gives them a feeling of much better about being sort of in the wild and in outside. And these lovely, lovely pieces of pottery. Yes, yeah, beautifully made. Again, from an eight to 11 year old group, wonderful. And this bit, which is a turtle made of many, 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 many beer cap bottle tops. It's, it even smells of beer. <laughs> and actually, which really adds to it. It's lovely, it makes you want to touch it. You sort of can imagine it feels like the turtle's back. Uh, that's brilliant. I mean, everything's brilliant here. It's, that's just the problem. Um, and we struggle to make decisions and, and we, we've talked about so many pictures. This one, this piece of photograph, there's an ambiguity. It's, you're not quite sure, it's called Puddles. But it looks like it could be a, a choppy sea or it could be a lake somewhere. Um, or we're just not sure. It's it's great, but that's the, the, the it counts for all of it. So uh, that's all of the the exhibition. You've had a tour and a guide through lots of the pictures. I hope you can find your own picture. And if your ex picture is not here and you're only just new to the Black Swan, when we open again, please come because it's a fantastic venue for wonderful art and aspiring local as well as national. Thank you very much. It's Amanda Sheridan.